This is my banded thick-toed gecko, a.k.a. Pachydactylus fasciatus, or as I like to call him, Lieutenant Dan, because as you can see here, he ain't got no leg. And this is Lieutenant Dan's current enclosure, and it kind of sucks, especially for Lieutenant Dan, because how's he going to get any little lady friends if he's living in this little home? He's not. Simple as that. He is a beta male right now. We're going to put him in a new home and uh, hopefully eventually get him some lady friends, uh, and hopefully his life will be a lot better, because right now this is just a little quarantine setup. And you can see here, I mean... What's bro got to do with all this space? He's got like, two, he can get under here, he can get under here. That's two hides, man. That's like a two-bedroom apartment for him. It's like a two-bedroom apartment. It sucks, okay? So we're going to set him up a new home, and I'm going to show you guys how we did it. First thing we're going to need is a 10-gallon tank. Next thing we're going to need is a bag of play sand. Next up, we're going to need some organic topsoil. And finally, we're going to need some decorations. Now, banded thick-toed geckos are from the deserts of Nambia. Uh, Nambia, if you don't know, mostly a desert, so uh, a lot of sand, a lot of rocks. Putting in some more uh, play sand here. Uh, do not use anything like calcium sand or any of that. A little bit of reptile sand already in here with a little bit of uh, coconut fiber in here already. Just mixing that up. Now, this is a little bit too sandy for my liking. You know, you don't want to risk impaction when I'm feeding them, even though I do mostly feed them out of a bowl. We've got a little bit of this chola wood. We're going to figure out what we'll do with that later. Okay, now gonna add some uh, organic topsoil that's gonna even it out a little bit make it a little make it a little less aired make it hold a little more humidity than regular sand will and also make it a little bit less dusty so you see here looks a lot more like uh any of my western out west viewers looks a little more like the out west sand rather than just pure desert sand because a lot of deserts have a lot of rock in them have a little bit of wood material in them they're not just pure sand um so anyways i'm gonna get back to you guys whenever i get the decorations okay so got some rocks uh these are just random rocks I found outside like a year ago and never did anything with. So we're going to stack up some rocks for him here. We're going to make little hides for him. So you're going to like go up in there. He can get up in this little tunnel, hide from uh, the pr predators that he thinks are out there that really aren't out there because he's living in a tank. So yeah, very far into the tank on his cool side. We're going to put him a little water bowl right here, kind of towards the middle. We're going to put him a food bowl so I can put all his mealworms, his dubia roaches, his fruit flies, which fruit flies are, are not going to stay in there. And actually what we're going to do here is I'm going to turn this upside down. See, it's really a little narrow spot. See, there's not a lot of gap, uh, not a lot of space right there. So he can get up in there and feel really secure. This is actually going to be his like medium hide uh, temperature wise, like a little in, in between hide. I'm going to put some, I've ran out of sphagnum moss. Need to get more sphagnum moss. This is going to be his little humid hide. I'm going to cover it up. And uh, as you can see here, he has got a small little tunnel he can get up in there and go in and hide. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're getting him set up with for now. Gonna get some more decorations for him here in a second. Okay, we've got some fake plants. Since this is a really deserty soil, not many live plants I can put in here. Could put succulents and stuff, but I suck at keeping those alive. So we're gonna wedge some little plants here and there, kind of make it sparsely decorated like a little desert. Really sparsely decorate this little thing. Uh, put a little one next to his little home, next to his little hide. He's probably gonna like this hide a lot, I feel. Um, especially since the pet warm's really, uh, pet room is really warm. I think he's gonna like this medium uh, cool, this medium size or medium temperature hide. Clear his little his little burrow. He can get up in there, kind of uh, cover up the back end of it a little bit. Um, actually gonna give him another water. Or actually, this is gonna be his water dish. I like this one a little bit more. Cause he can crawl in and out of it. It's gonna be his little water dish. Also, his water dish doubles as a hide because uh, where's it at? Yeah, this part's broken, so. Uh, it actually doubles as a little hide. You can get up in there and get up underneath it. And uh, it actually kind of works as a humid hide also. So I might not even put sphagnum moss in this. This might just be his humid hide because it's got the water and all that with it. So yeah, he can get up underneath a lot of these hides. Uh, gonna get him his other hide from his old tank. Just an upside down water dish. Uh, upside down water dish. He can get up underneath there. Feel really secure. Feel really like he's wedged up in, um, in there. And uh, feel really safe and secure. So yeah. Uh, I think that's all we're going to set him up with for now. I think this looks pretty good. I think he's going to be happy in his new home. So, uh, get back to you guys whenever we throw him in. Now that Lieutenant Dan's uh, apartment's empty, pick him up. And, uh, introduce him to his new home. And as you can see, he blends in pretty good. Oh, get up in there. Oh, he's going to take off. Oh, find your hide. Find your hide, buddy. Took him outside. I took it outside today because, uh, he doesn't like the slide, I don't guess. Um, go find your new home. Home. Brought him outside because uh, the pet room lighting sucks. So I didn't want to record a video in there because uh, you, all you would see would literally just be like a dingy light and what you think is a gecko and what you think is my hand. 
Come here, bud. Okay, so right there. There's you a hide. Go in there. You don't like it, go. Go in there. Hide. Safety, security, sanctuary, go. Okay, well he wants to be a little bit of a dum-dum, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move him in the pet room for, uh, for now. And before I forget, his little calcium dish, so uh, he stays nice and strong. Hopefully, uh, never mind, he's, he's not max low, he's not growing that arm back. Stay nice and buff for the lady friends he's gonna be getting, so yeah. He is now home in the pet room. Uh, it's like I said, really dingy in here. You cannot see much at all. Put his little cholo wood in there. I'm out of breath because um, I had to carry this tank in there and a bag of sand in here, so a little bit out of breath. Um, he's still chilling right there in front of the hide he's supposed to be going in, but uh, he's a little bit of a dum dum, so uh, he hasn't went in yet. Uh, but yeah, got him set up in here. Gonna get gotta get his heat mat, uh, his little heat pad put up in here, but I haven't done that yet. So uh, yeah, that's uh, all I got to show of Lieutenant Dan for now. Hopefully, I can get you. Uh, Show you some other animals before we end the video. So, see you in a minute. Now, the white clouds are doing amazing. There's a lot of tannins in this water, so uh, hopefully that can't make them calm and all that. Uh, because a lot of these little flowers and stuff down here release some tannins in the water. Uh, I did see what I thought was a baby white cloud in here the other day. Not too sure what it was. I know for a fact it was a fish, not a tadpole this time. No, for a fact. Um, but I couldn't tell if it was one of those little baby platies I put in here or not. But it looked smaller than those platies, so uh, I'm pretty sure it was a white cloud. Uh, speaking of which, I have not seen... Oh, that's a pregnant white cloud right there. That's a very pregnant white cloud. But yeah, I actually haven't seen my platies in a little while. Uh, I hope they're okay. Oh, oh, thought something was coming up to me, but it was just, just a sheep. Um, so yeah, but look, these uh, these pregnant gold white clouds look a lot skinnier. So they have definitely spawned. They've definitely laid their eggs already. That's like just a fact of life. They've laid eggs. Uh, I don't know where they're at because uh, this little tank has turned into a jungle. Or pond, it's not even a tank. It's turned into a jungle, so yeah. Update on the white clouds. I'm gonna go show you guys the goldfish pond next. Skunk enclosure, uh, quick update. Uh, yeah, their tarp, or not their tarp, their trampoline net fell over just a little bit, but hey, it's keeping it cool and shady in there, so at least it's doing part of the job I wanted it to do. They're happy and healthy. Uh, they've dug their tunnel out a lot. They have dug that tunnel out a good bit, so yeah. Happy, healthy skunks. Oh, why am I zoomed in still? Happy, healthy skunks as always. Uh, I'm just gonna walk over, there's no point in cutting. Goldfish pond's right here. Uh, Everything's doing good. It's a little bit cloudy because it has done nothing but rain. The past couple days, it's been sunny all day. Then, at, for some reason, at around 6 o'clock, it starts pouring rain. Everything's been cloudy. Somehow, the crepe myrtle flowers have gotten in here. Crepe myrtles are way over there. I don't know how the, the petals got in here. I have no idea. The, none of the trees right there are crepe myrtles. Have no idea how those got here. Oh, there's a goldfish. I like seeing them when they pop up every now and again. It's really cool. Turtle's been basking, hanging out right there, but he keeps running away from me. He hates me all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, up down the goldfish ponds. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe uh, for more content. we got some more animal upgrades coming soon. Um, I bought Lieutenant Dan a couple a couple weeks ago. Just now we're getting a little upgrade for him. Got a couple other animal upgrades planned. Stay tuned if you like the gecko videos. I've got a couple geckos needing upgrades. got the hermit crabs needing upgrades. Um, hoping to get a pet building, a building for my pets. So that's kind of why I'm waiting on them because they need bigger enclosures. Like a little 10 gallons, it's just something I can squeeze in the pet room for now. Nothing bad. I mean, they're, they're a really small gecko. He's near full grown. Um... But if I'm going to do something like a big 40 gallons and 55 gallons, I'm going to need a bigger space. So I'm working on buying a building. Hopefully we can get the gecko upgrades then. Um, for now, they're going to be in their little, I guess their little temporary quarantine setups. A lot of them are still young, so I'm kind of fine with keeping them in those for like a couple more months. Um, I already have tanks for the upgrades. The, the tanks are here. I have the tanks. Um, I just don't have room to put them in the room yet. A room to put them in the room. But um, so yeah, whenever I get an animal building, which hopefully will be soon, I'm in scouring marketplace looking for one ever get it insulated whenever i get it air conditioned whenever i get it wired up they're going to be going in there all the i'm hoping maybe getting two buildings one for the mammals one for the reptiles just to keep them separate and uh save me money on buying one build big building i could save a lot of money and buy two small ones because uh i don't know i think it worked better um and also say one building did malfunction like the middle of winter got cold um i would be less screwed because uh, it would only mess up one building. i'd be screwed i'd be screwed with either one happening but um, let's say only one building breaks down and I lose some geckos or something like that, something tragic, um, which I'm not planning on that happening. I'm going to prevent, I might do my best to prevent that from happening. But I know people who have had it happen with their own house, like their house has had it happen and they've lost a lot of animals from it. So if I have two buildings, uh, I think I've kind of lowered my chances of, um, you know, something like a freak accident like that happening or a heat bulb malfunctioning or heat mat at malfunctioning. I'll say a fire broke out. I'd lessen my chances of something bad happening. Uh, so that's kind of another good reason, another good reason for me to get two buildings. Um... 
yeah, that's all I can really think of. Um, like I said, make sure to like and subscribe. We're, we got some cool videos coming up, guys. Um, this is the this isn't one of the high quality videos I've been promised. I'm still working on those. One of them I'm done. I've already in the process of recording because um, I've just got them planned. I've got a list of cool video ideas for you. This is one of the like in, this is the one of the transfer videos. This is a video that I'm going from my former lower quality content. You know, just kind of updates and stuff. The stuff that you guys obviously don't like. Um, all you seem to like is fish videos, but uh, I have more than just fish, guys. You don't, don't just watch the fish videos. Watch my other stuff, okay? I, you, you'll see the fish here and there, okay? The fish are in just about every video, okay? Like, the fish videos blow up for some reason, but uh, ge uh, gecko videos you don't care about, mammal videos you don't care about. We're doing a gecko video because I want to. Um, so uh, this is like a transfer video, so it's kind of going. We're stepping it up a little bit, going to do some better editing. Then we're going to work our way into those high quality videos now this one i'm going to be testing out i'm going to work on a new thumbnail idea hopefully this thumbnail does good um i'm, I'm upgrade i'm stepping up my thumbnail game guys okay i've got some thumbnails already made I've, all these these cool videos i promise you i've already made the thumbnails for um see so yeah, i'm just gonna quit rambling make sure to like and subscribe guys see you real soon peace